Hello YouTube, Chris Klein coming at you once again from Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. And today we're going to talk about a couple of digital pianos. Right behind me we have Casio's Privia PXS1000, and then right below that I have Yamaha's P125. Both of these are uh, 88 keys, fully weighted. Uh, they emulate grand pianos, the action of a grand piano, graded hammers if you, if you will. Um, and they both just offer a tremendous amount of value. Um, each is right under the $600 mark, literally right under $600. And uh, they're both stellar instruments. Uh, so without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and talk about some of the points of each of these. And then our good friend Ted Barsalou is gonna come in and he's gonna demo these keyboards for you because he's a much better player than I am. I just bang on drums. All right, so let's go ahead and move forward with this. So first I want to look at Casio's latest offering, the Privia PXS1000. Now once again, it's 88 weighted keys, feels really great. They are plastic keys, uh, but it's still a, a fantastic key bed. It, you know, again, if you are a new, a new player, if you are a beginner, a student, it's really, really important to have these weighted keys to build up your fingers and to understand how a, uh, an acoustic piano really, really feels. Both of these keyboards are going to offer that. But let's get back to the Casio and talk about this one just a little bit more. So it's a really, really beautiful design. It's very small, very sleek. When the keyboard is powered off, all the controls actually go away. So you just have this really beautiful black like obelisk. It looks like you know, volcanic glass. It's just super sexy. And, and that was one of the first things that I noticed when I saw it at NAMM this year. I walked up to it and went, oh my gosh, this is a beautiful design. And then I powered it up and I'm, oh wow, this is really, really great. So when you power it up, the controls are illuminated underneath the service and, and they're actually, it's like a touch screen. You just touch, and, there, and there's the metronome. You just touch these different controls to uh, enable certain parameters, change the sounds, and you're also gonna change the sounds with the keyboard as well. So you're gonna press a certain key, in this instance, grand piano. And then if I come down here, To the first octave, I can actually change the different patches. Casio's Privia has 18 patches altogether. Uh, one of those, of course, includes a grand piano, which sounds stunning, has key resonances, and a whole bunch of other features built in, so it feels and sounds like you're playing or sitting behind a grand piano. It's very, very cool. Uh, this also has onboard speakers as well as two headphone output so you can silently practice with you and a friend. It also has Bluetooth connectivity so you can connect your iOS or Android device to this and you can stream music through it and you can practice to your favorite songs if you're trying to learn the latest tune from whomever. Insert your favorite artist here. You can plug it in wirelessly over Bluetooth and you can make that happen. Again, tremendous value for the price. It feels awesome, it sounds great. It looks sexy, it's just they really knocked this one out of the park. I like it quite a bit. So the PXS1000 from Casio is also incredibly light. It's under 25 pounds, it's very, very sleek, very, very portable. Really, really great if you're a student and you live in a dorm or you have an apartment. And, and also being able to plug headphones in allows you to practice silently, which means you're not going to disturb everybody else around you, especially if you have a roommate that's you know studying for some exam in bio or whatever. You can rock out all night long or get your Chopin on or whatever it is that you're trying to play or, or rehearse to or practice with. Um, it also has, uh, or you can download the Cordana Play for Piano application for your Android or iOS device, which will allow you to manipulate more parameters to the keyboard um, through your tablet or your phone. Uh, you can also, uh, it goes into, it also will have a piano roll mode, and you can also look at MIDI performances that you can record from the piano from this application. So as you can see, uh, it really is, again, value-packed and uh, just a wonderful instrument for anybody, for a seasoned professional and for somebody that's just beginning. Yamaha's P125 also has 88 keys. Graded hammers, fully weighted, feels really, really great. Once again, I'm gonna stress this over and over, probably in every video. Weighted keys are really, really important for beginning pianists, for new students, so they understand how a real acoustic piano feels. It's gonna help build up their finger strength. 
uh, and just give them a, a, a better playing experience all around. So the Yamaha also offers that just like the Casio Privia uh, above it. It has a few more sounds. The uh, Yamaha P125 has 24 patches in it, and it also offers some uh, rhythm patches or styles that you can play along with, rock and roll, waltz, so on and so forth, uh, which can also enhance the playing experience. This also has stereo speakers, two headphone outputs. It's also very light. This one clocks in at right under 26 pounds, so it's just slightly heavier, but not much. Again, incredibly portable, great if you are living in a dorm, an apartment. If you're a gigging musician, this goes for, applies to both of these. You can, it's easy to transport to and from gigs, especially if you wanna you know, use like a Fender Rhodes a mechanical piano sound. Uh, both of these offer uh, Rhodes, Wurlitzer style pianos, and if you've ever moved one of those as a touring or gigging musician, you know it's no fun. Both of these will do that. The P125 also has, or well, the Yamaha also has the Smart Pianist app that you can download from uh, the iTunes store or the uh, Apple App Store, which will allow you to control myriad patches and other parameters um, from your tablet or your iPhone, uh, which is fantastic. Again, tons of value. Um, like the Privia above, there are a lot of parameters that you can actually access from the keys and holding down keys from the panel on here. Now, unlike the Privia where the controls are turned off or hidden when you power the keyboard off, this has a little more traditional uh, panel incorporated into it with buttons. Um, but still, an unbelievable piano. This has been such a gigantic seller, a, a, a gigantic seller for Yamaha, and a huge success for us as well, uh, because it just offers so much. The the piano samples uh, for both of these are fantastic. Uh, the P125, it just smokes. It sounds so great. They're both really, really great. It just depends on what you're looking for. You're you're going to trade things off depending on which one you pick up. But they're both fantastic instruments.
All right, so thank you for tuning in with us today. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration and I guess review of the uh, Casio's new Privia PX S1000 and Yamaha's P125. Uh, as you have heard and seen, they both offer a lot. Tremendous value for the price. They sound great, they're really portable, they're lightweight, they're weighted so they're good for your fingers and for building up your chops. They're just really, really great keyboards or digital pianos, excuse me. Um, so with that being said, uh, if you have not subscribed to us already, you can do that below. Uh, we also have a free Piano Buyer's Guide link uh, in the description below as well. You might want to click on that if you have any questions about, you know, what do I need to look for when I'm buying a piano? What kind of questions do I need to ask? Um, so I guess that's it for this, this round. Uh, have a great weekend. We are Alma Music Center in San Antonio once again. It's springtime. It's beautiful. Go outside, play, and we will see you uh, again shortly. Thanks a lot.